The story of Hazrat Fatima, S.A., daughter of the Holy Prophet. The life of Hazrat Fatima, Zahra, S.A., daughter of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a tale of devotion, resilience, and piety that continues to inspire generations. Her story is a testament to the virtues of compassion, strength, and unwavering faith in the face of adversity. From her early years in a household marked by the Prophet's prophetic mission to her role as a mother and a wife, Fatima Zahra's life embodies the highest ideals of Islamic womanhood. The Prophet of Islam, Hazrat Muhammad, peace be upon him, had only one daughter, Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, born to his wife, Hazrat Khadija, peace be upon her, five years before Bathat when Muhammad, peace be upon him, was about thirty-five years old, and Khadija, peace be upon her, was fifty. Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, was known by many titles, including Zahra, Lady of Light, and Sayyidatun Nisa al-Alamin, leader of the women of the worlds. Her birth date was 20th Jamad al-Akhar. After Hazrat Khadija's, peace be upon her, death, Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, took care of her father so devotedly that Hazrat Muhammad, peace be upon him, called her Ume Abiha, meaning mother of her father. This period was challenging for the family as they faced intense hostility from the Quraysh, especially after the deaths of Hazrat Abu Talib, may Allah be pleased with him, and Hazrat Khadija, peace be upon her. During the Prophet's migration to Medina, Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, remained in Makkah with the rest of the family under Hazrat Ali's, peace be upon him, care. Hazrat Ali, peace be upon him, stayed behind for three days to return deposits to the Makkans before bringing the family to Medina. When Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, was eighteen, proposals for her marriage began arriving, but the Prophet awaited Allah's decree. Hazrat Ali, peace be upon him, was the most suitable suitor, but hesitated to propose due to modesty. Finally he approached the Prophet, who, after obtaining Hazrat Fatima Zahra's, peace be upon her consent, solemnized their marriage simply. Hazrat Ali, peace be upon him, sold his shield for two hundred dirhams, which, combined with a similar amount from the Prophet, bought household goods for the couple's new home. Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, and Hazrat Ali, peace be upon him, had four children, Hazrat Hassan, peace be upon him, born in the third year of Hijra, Hazrat Hussein, peace be upon him, fourth year of Hijra, Hazrat Zainab, peace be upon her, sixth year of Hijra, and Hazrat Ume Kulthum, peace be upon her, seventh year of Hijra. Their household was blessed, as evidenced by the revelation of the verse of purification, Surah 33, 33, and the incident of giving away their food for three days, leading to the praise in Surah Dar. The Prophet showed immense respect for Hazrat Fatima Zara, peace be upon her, standing up when she entered and blessing her household daily. He intended for this respect to continue after his death but history records otherwise. After the Prophet's death, Hazrat Ali, peace be upon him, did not immediately pledge allegiance to Hazrat Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him, resulting in a tragic confrontation where Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, was injured and her unborn child died. She passed away within three months of her father's death, deeply mourned by her family. On the 3rd of Jamad al-Thani, Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, passed away. Hazrat Asma bint Umais, may Allah be pleased with her, helping her, narrated that Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, prepared food for her children before going to her prayer room. When Hazrat Asma, may Allah be pleased with her, didn't hear the takbir, she informed Hazrat Ali, peace be upon him, who, upon finding Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, lifeless, prepared her for burial. Hazrat Ali, peace be upon him, wept upon seeing the injury from the incident at their door. Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, 
was buried in the cemetery of Baki at night, attended by few. Janatul Baki, near the Prophet's mosque, became the burial site for many prominent figures, including Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, the Prophet's daughter, and his grandsons. Over the centuries, tombstones marked these graves, but the Wahhabis destroyed them in 1932, leaving the cemetery in ruins. Today, a wall encloses the area, with visitors only allowed to view the graves from a distance. The life of Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, is a shining example of dedication to family, faith, and the principles of Islam. Her legacy of kindness, patience, and steadfastness under extreme circumstances continues to resonate with believers. Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, exemplified the virtues of a daughter, a wife, and a mother. Her deep devotion to her father, her unwavering support for her husband, and her loving care for her children are qualities that Muslims are encouraged to emulate. The household of Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, was marked by a simplicity and humility that contrasted sharply with the opulence of the time. Despite facing poverty and hardship, she never complained and remained grateful for Allah's blessings. Her life was filled with instances of charity and selflessness, often giving away what little she had to those in need. The respect and love Hazrat Muhammad, peace be upon him, showed his daughter were not only signs of his affection, but also a lesson to his followers about the high status of women in Islam. The Prophet's actions demonstrated that women should be treated with honor and respect, a message that was especially important in a society where women were often undervalued. After the death of the Prophet, the family of Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, faced significant challenges. The political turmoil and power struggles of the time led to tragic events that deeply affected her and her family. Despite these hardships, her faith remained unshaken. Her resilience in the face of adversity and her commitment to her family and faith are testaments to her strength of character. The death of Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, was a profound loss for the Muslim community. Her life, though short, was filled with remarkable examples of piety, charity, and devotion. She left behind a legacy that continues to inspire and guide Muslims around the world. In Janatul Baki, where Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, and many other revered figures are buried, the simplicity of their graves is a stark reminder of the transience of life and the importance of spiritual wealth over material wealth. The destruction of the tombstones by the Wahhabis was a devastating loss, but the memory of those buried there continues to live on in the hearts of Muslims. The story of Hazrat Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, is not just a historical account. It is a beacon of light for those who seek to live a life of virtue and devotion. Her unwavering faith, her strength in the face of adversity, and her deep love and compassion for her family and community are qualities that all believers strive to emulate. As we reflect on her life, we are reminded of the profound impact one person can have on the world. Hazrat Fatima Zahra's Peace Be Upon Her legacy is a testament to the power of faith, love, and resilience. Her story will forever be a source of inspiration, guiding us towards a path of righteousness and devotion. May her memory continue to inspire us to uphold the values she so beautifully embodied.